my name is Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to create this CSS parallax effect, um, which essentially is where almost an image um, or anything really can be behind a web page here. And if I scroll up, you can see it's almost like a window into the back, the background, basically. Um, so it's quite a cool little effect, We're just using one image here from pexels.com. Um, so feel free to grab any image that you might want to use. Um, just in this example, I just double clicked and copied the image address. So as you can see, here's the full image that I've got. And then in the parallax effect, obviously we're sort of scrolling over um, the, the image with a, a certain window, basically and a, a viewable window area, which we set all with CSS. So just a couple of lines will create this effect. Um, and of course, feel free to add it to your website or blog or um, sort of whatever your use case might be. But it's really quite a simple um, couple of lines, as I mentioned, and it, and it gives quite a nice effect and depth to a website. So just to start with, I've got Visual Studio Code open here uh, and we can see I've just got the general boilerplate stuff. I've linked up a style sheet, which I'll come to in a second. And then we've got a H1 with the title here, which I've, which I've set. Um, so just for this, we only need two divs really. So I'm going to create a div with the class of wrapper and hit enter. And then inside that nested in will just be a div with a class of photo. So if you hit enter again and hit save, that's all we need. Um, so this will be the, the wrapper. So the content up and you know, above and below. And then we've got our photo here, which of course we're not just going to show um, sort of statically. Um, we need to create some space so that we can scroll up and down. So to just to start with, as I said, I've linked the style sheet. We're just importing a, a Google font um, for the title. I've done a CSS reset. So margin and padding are both zero. Added a background color, set the font family, and then the color of the text is white. And of course, just centered that text here and then given it a small margin top. Um, so all we need to do to create the, the scrolling effect here um, is to target that wrapper. And I'll just give that a margin, of, let's say 800 pixels top and bottom, and then zero left and right, and hit save. And now actually this live server um, is out of date. So if I go live here, and I'm, I'm able to do that because I've got the live server extension installed in Visual Studio Code. Um, so yeah, you can install that and it's, it's really quick to get a local development server up and running. Um, and essentially now, because it's live, every time I hit save, the updates, um, on the, on the browser will happen automatically. So let's just test that, hit save, and we should be able to see, there you go, it refreshes and updates here. Um, so it's really quick now to work with our styles and we should see them affect in real time. So of course we've got our wrap and we've got a bit of a scrolling action going on, which is good, um, but we need to now target the photo itself. So we'll just do dot photo to get the class of that div. Um, and as you can see, if you remember, we've only got a div here with a photo. There's no content inside yet. What we're going to do is actually add that with the CSS. Um, so we'll do that now. So to do that, we'll do background dash image and we'll set a URL and we'll just grab the URL that we got from Pexels um, over here and just pop that in between the parentheses, hit save. And if we go back to our one that's now running, of course, you'll see there's no photo or, or image showing just yet because we need to set a height and a width property. Um, so the height, I'll just put the 250 pixels for now. And then width, um, we'll do 100% just so it spans across the whole page here. And if I scroll down, we can see we've got our image here. Um, but you might notice it's obviously static, it's going with the page, and it's actually only showing the top of sort of the clouds. So it's starting from the top and going down 250 pixels, um, as we can see here. So we're sort of cut off um, around that point, um, which is absolutely fine because we actually only want this window to be, let's say, 250. You can, of course, change the height value um, if we do 350, and we'll be able to see a bit more now. Um, but I'll just leave it as that for the, the demonstration here. So effectively to create the, the parallax effect, all we need is one property. Um, and this will be background, um, where is it? Attachment and then fixed. If I hit save now, we should see as we scroll down, there's our image coming into view. And then obviously it goes up and away. Um, so that's all we need to, to, to get it going. But you might be able to see here, we're repeating the image when we sort of get to the end where obviously the image is, um, at this point wider or, or t taller um, than the sort of the viewable area that we've created with this height property. Um, so obviously one more property that we'd need to fix that would be background repeat and that would be no repeat. And if I hit save, 
we can see that issue goes away. Um, and then two more properties that sort of just cover you, I guess. Um, obviously, as, as you're working more with these images, would be background size cover and background position um, center. So if I save both of these, we can now see that we've got our full parallax effect. Um, and of course, there's no image repeating or anything. It's just that one image that we've got. And we can see from the top all the way to the bottom as we scroll, um, we can see that. So it's really quite a cool little effect. And it, I guess it kind of gives a, a 3D sort of viewing sort of image to your website. Um, and I think it, it's quite neat. So one thing we can do, of course, over here is actually clean up some of the CSS. Um, so if I just type background and pass in our, our URL here, which I'll just grab from this one and like so. And if I copy that and pop that here, what we can then do is pass in the rest of the parameters. So I think there is a certain order that you need to do this. Um, so it will be no repeat first and fixed and center slash cover. And effectively that should then replicate all of this um, and the, the other one. So it's essentially five lines of CSS all now into sort of one shorthand property. And if I hit save, we still have that same effect there. So yeah, it neatens up a bit and then effectively with one line of CSS, you can create this uh, parallax effect image for your website. So yeah, um, let me know in the comments if you've got any questions and I'd be more than happy to sort of answer them. And of course, if you do add this to your website or blog, um, drop the link, I'd be really excited to see what you create with this. Um, and of course, the link to the repo for this code here um, will be in the description box below. So look forward to seeing the next one. Thank you.